Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sapna Dadwal. I am working as a professor in the Department of Management at St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. This is lecture 12 of con Consumer Protection. This subject is taught in 6th semester of BBA. The topics I am going to cover in this lecture are regulation of anti-competitive agreements and abuse of dominance, regulation of combinations, power to exempt, consumer protection under competition act, competition bill 2007, I am going to discuss it. I would like to tell you about few topics of uh, a few amendment or few would like to discuss the latest about competition act 2007 competition bill 2007 till now uh, we have discussed restrictive uh, trade practices meaning of restricted trade practices regulation of restricted trade practices, unfair trade practices, monopolistic trade practices. Then we started, uh, we started with, then we started the, in the lecture 11, we discussed about Competition Act also. We started Competition Act 2002. In lecture 11, we started Competition Act 2002. We discussed the objectives of the Competition Act 2002. The main objectives were to provide for establishment of commission, to protect the interest of the consumers, Then to promote and sustain competition in the market in India to ensure freedom of trade carried on by participants in market of India to regulate the combinations to promote competition through prohibition of anti-competitive prohibit abuse of dominant position. So mainly there were three objectives of competition act as whereas in detail, there are six, seven objectives are there, but mainly there are only three objectives of competition, competitive, your competition act, 2002. The first one is prohibition of anti-competitive agreements. The second is prohibition of abuse of dominant position, then regulation of combinations. We discussed about uh, provisions of the competitive acts like first was competitive commission then uh, then abuse of dominant position was there anti competitive agreements were there then now in lecture 12 we are going to discuss regulations related to anti competitive and agreements and abuse of domination, then regulation related to combinations, then powers, ki what, what are, are exempted from this act, then consumer protection under competition acts. So how consumers are protected under this act? Then we'll disc about, discuss about Competition Bill 2007-2. We all know we have already discussed that the Competition Bill, the earlier Competition will, Bill was passed in 2002. After the passing of the bill, the Competition Act 2002 was enacted. But there was amendment also in 2007. So we are, we are going to discuss these amendments. So first topic is regulation of anti-competitive agreements and abuse of domination. So where the commission finds that any agreement causes or is likely to cause an 
appreciable adverse effect on competition or action of an enterprise or is likely to be an abuse of its dominant position it may pass all or any of the following orders first one is direct any direct a party involved in such agreement or abuse of dominance position to discontinue and not to re-enter such agreement or discontinue such abuse dominant pos position as the case may be then second one is impose such penal penalty as it may deem fit which shall not be more than 10 percent of the average of the turnover for the last three preceding years upon each of such person or enterprises which are parties to such agreement or abuse then third is award compensations to the parties in accordance with the provisions contained in the act then direct that the agreement shall stand modified to the extent and in the manner as may be specified in the order by the commission the next one is direct the enterprises concern to abide by such others such orders as the commission may pass and comply with directions including payment of cost if any then recommend to central government for the division of an enterprise enjoying such dominant position and pass such odds other order as it may deem fit now division of enterprise enjoying dominant position so according to section 28 of the act of the act on recommendation of the competition commission government for the division of enterprise may recommend the central government or may order the division of enterprise adjoining dominant position to ensure that such enterprise doesn't abuse its, its dominant position such may provide or it may take in the following ways the division take make in the following ways it may transfer or vesting of property rights liabilities or obligations second one is the adjustment of contract either by discharge or reduction of any liability or obligation or otherwise or the creation allotment surrender or cancellation of any shares stocks securities it can do that then the payment of compensation to any person who suffered loss due to dominant position then the formation or winding of enterprise or the amendment of the member end of association articles article of association or any other instrument regulating the business of any enterprise it may then the formation then to extend to which end circumstances in which provisions of the order affecting an enterprise may be altered by the enterprise and registration thereof so it may alter provisions it may alter registration of the organization enterprise who are using or who are abusing its dominant position then last one is any other matter which may be necessary to give effect to the division of the enterprise so these are the ways by which the government or the commission may reduce or may divide the enterprise who are using or who are misusing its dominant position against the consumers or against the interest of the publics now the next topic is regulation of combinations so section 5 of the act which deals with the combinations consider only those acquisition mergers or amalgamation which result in assets or turnover above the specified threshold limit or control of enterprise with assets or turnover above the specified limit 
so accordingly the full following fall under the combinations for i would like to discuss following means i would like to discuss some regulation of combinations government may control mergers acquisitions or amalgamation those combination resulting into the which result into the assets or turnover above the specified limit as per decided by the government so any acquisition merger or amalgamation which result in combined asset of the value of more than rupee 1000 crore or turnover more than rupee 3000 crores in india or asset of value more than 500 million used us dollars or turnover more than 1500 million us us dollars in india or outside india so when a when a group of enterprises involved the respective figures are assets of more than rupees 4000 crores or turnover more than rupees 12000 crores an asset of more than 2 billion us dollars or turnover more than 6 billion us dollars so any acquisition above this is a government can interfere government can interfere in these types of acquisitions so an acquisition or control over enterprise by a person who has already direct or indirect control of another enterprise engaged in production or marketing of similar or identical products or services which result in the enterprise jointly having asset of value of more than rupees 1000 crore or turnover more than 3000 crore in india so this is very clear that this limit for a person of a group of for a group of organizations involved these are respective figures so section c of the competition act declares these amalgamations void any combination which causes or likely to cause an av- adverse effect on the competition these combinations will if these combinations are above these limits specified by the government of india then these combinations or these agreements will be void as per the competition act because the if these combinations may have adverse effect on the competition and which is relevant to market in india and can have a adverse effect on the interest of the public of india now the next topic is power to exempt so the central government is empowered to exempt from the application of this act or any provision thereof for such period as it may specify it may exempt any class of enterprise if such exemption is necessary in the interest of security of state or public interest it may exempt any practice or agreement arising out of and in accordance with any obligation assumed by india under any treaty agreement or convention with any other country or countries third is a government may exempt any enterprise which performs a sovereign function on behalf of the central government or state government provided that in a case an enterprise is engaged in any activity including the activity relatable to the sovereign functions of the government or central government may grant exemption only in respect of the activity related to the sovereign functions so these are the exemptions where a government can exempt organizations from the above discussed 
limits then the next topic is consumer protection under competition act any consume any person consumer consumer association trade association statutory authorities or state government or central government can file a complaint with competition commission a commission is empowered to act suo moto the competition act consists of the following provisions relating to consumer protection so the first is protection against anti competitive agreement so it is unlawful under the act for any enterprise or persons to enter an agreement in respect of production supply storage distribution or control of goods and services which cause adverse effect on the competition so consumers or consumer association can file complaint with commission on having the knowledge about these anti anti competitive agreements being entered to by entered into by enterprises or persons so consumer organization can file and can give information to the commission about these agreements the second is protection against abuse of dominant position a dominant position means a position of strength enjoyed by an enterprise in the relevant market in india it affects the consumer or competitors in the market in its favor as per the act no enterprise shall abuse its dominant interest or dominant position to harm consumer interest so on receipt of complaint the commission shall conduct an inquiry and after inquiry if the commission finds that there exists an enterprise which is abusing its dominant position in the market then it may pass all or any of the following orders it may direct the enterprise involved in abuse of dominant position to discontinue or not to repeat in future it may impose penal penalty on offending enterprises fine shall not exceed 10% of the average of turnover for the previous 3 financial years then third protection is provided by the competitive act to consumer is regulation of mergers and acquisition the commission has also power to regulate combinations many times combinations proves to be harmful to consumers they are likely to be detrimental to the growth of competition as competition and they harm the interest of the consumers then award competition award sorry compensation this is writing mistake please ignore this writing award comp compensation the act empowers the commission to award compensation for an individual who has suffered damage or loss from the use of goods and services the compensation shall be paid by the organization that has caused damage or loss to the consumers now i would like to discuss about the competition that is a competition amendment bill 2007 competition commission of india actually had remained non functional because of writ petition filed in the supreme court the apex court in january 2005 addressed the writ petition with certain directions to the government consequent to consequent to this the competition bill to fix 2006 was introduced in march 2006 and was referred for the examination to the parliamentary standing committee fall and the parliamentary standing committee recommended some amendments to the bill first was the first was the that expert body is to be created by the government it might be prepared to create two separate bodies one with expertise for advisory and 
Second one is regular regulatory function. And the uh, first will be expertise for advisory and regulatory function. The second one will be for adjudicatory functions, which would function as a market regulator to prevent and regulate anti-competitive practices in the country. It was advised that advisory, it uh, that it would also have advisory and advocacy function in its role as a regulator. Then, the new law has sought to make merger and combinations deals more transparent. Companies will have to perform the CCI about the deals within 30 days companies could be penalized if they fail to do so, so if any agreement between company result in cartels they might have to pay a hefty financial penalties up to thrice the value of profits and this has been done to prevent corporation from building dominant market position artificially the fourth amendment was the new law seeks to empower the CCI that is CCI means the competition commission of India to impose penalty empowers the CCI that is Competition Commission of India to impose penalty of up to rupees 25 crore or up to three year imprisonment or both in cases of continued contra contravention of its orders if the chief metropolitan magistrate deems fit. So these amendments were made in the competition bill 2007. This is all for this lecture. These are the questions which are related to this, uh, the subject, uh, the topics I have discussed in this lecture. Please ignore the writing mistake. If any query is there, please do contact me. Thank you. Thank you so much.